Hello and welcome to Module 3 of Making Music with Ableton Intro. In this tutorial we're going to have a closer look at the arrangement view. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to open up a brand new live set here. And we're going to just talk about the arrangement view now. So to get to the arrangement view you can either hit tab on your keyboard or if you go up to the top right of your screen we've got these horizontal lines which will take you to the arrangement view. And I'll just talk a bit about the arrangement view now. You'll notice it's pretty similar to the session view, except that everything is now put on its side, so everything is horizontal. So we've got the same two tracks. We've got our audio track, and we've got our MIDI track. And beside it, we've got our track activator. We've got our solo switch. We've got the track name. We've got our record arm button, our volume control, which we can just click and drag up and down. And then we've got our, our pan control with the same reset button as well. And then below this, we've got a couple extra features, which are send controls, which are for setting up uh, external effects, which is something we'll cover later on. The MIDI control is slightly different to the audio control in that there's no uh, volume or panning or things like that set up just yet. Um, these will all be available once you actually load an instrument into the MIDI track. Moving down to the bottom, we've got our master control, which has our volume and then our preview and cue volume as well, which is our small headphone icon. We've also got our track pan control with the reset value as well. And we've also got these handy collapsible tabs, which allow us to make the tracks a lot smaller than uh, they are when they're expanded. And it helps us for when the tracks start to get a bit more um, clustered. And uh, for a big arrangement, you're going to want to make use of these quite a lot. So in order to uh, insert some audio tracks or MIDI tracks, we just go down to this gray area at the bottom here, and we can just right click, and we can either select insert audio track, or select insert MIDI track, or you can use the abbreviation that is there. So you can use the command and T on a, a Mac, or shift command and T to get a MIDI track, or for the PC it'll be control and T, or uh, shift control and T. If you are in the session view, you can do the exact same thing by selecting the gray area on the right here. If you just right click, you get the same options. So I'm just gonna load up our finished project here and I'm gonna to go to the arrangement view and I'm just gonna show you a couple of the extra features here as well. So if you just scroll right to the very, very top, as your cursor tool turns to a speaker icon, if you just go above that again where the numbers are, it'll change to a hand icon with a magnifying glass. And now clicking on this and pulling in will allow you to zoom in on your project so you can see things in a lot more detail. Pushing out will allow you to zoom out of your project. And then obviously pushing left or right will allow you to pan left or right throughout your project. So this is just a very quick way to get about your uh, interface. And then going down below that, we've got the scrub area. And then here with the speaker icon, which now appears, we can actually click on various parts of our arrangement and play the track from that point. And one quick point to note out is uh, whenever you are in arrangement window, you need to make sure that this back to the arrangement button isn't red. If it's red, you need to click it until it turns gray. And then everything that you play now inside the arrangement window will be heard throughout your speakers. Otherwise, it will just be listening to the session view. So from here, with our scrub, we can click and it'll play different points throughout our track. One final thing for the arrangement view is our loop locators. So if we go up to the top here and activate the loop switch, you'll notice that our loop locators uh, situated at the end of our project here have now become active. So if we actually click the scrub area, across this section. Once it gets to the end, we'll actually loop back to the beginning. We can move the start point of that, and we can move the end point. And if you can't find your loop locators, if you select a certain area that you want to loop around, so for example, if I like this section, and I want to loop this round, I'll just click on it and hit Command and L on a Mac, or Control and L on a PC, and this section will now loop around. So once this gets to the end of our loop locator, it will revert back to the start.
So we can just quickly stop the track there by using the spacebar key on our keyboard. Okay, so that was a brief overview of the arrangement window. In the next video, we're going to be having a look at Ableton's built-in drum machine, Impulse.